tasters, welcome to another episode of Tasty Ness, where I review Weight Watcher friendly recipes. I give them a taste and let you know if you should make them or not. And today, I'm too excited, tasters, because I am going to be making a one pot mac and cheese. That's right, a one pot mac and cheese. I got this recipe from Light Cravings. Um, who I follow on Instagram, and the reviews are astonishing. Everyone says that it's delicious, their family loves it. I said, ooh, one pot in 15 minutes, only 15 minutes tasters. I said, I gotta give this a try. Now she didn't mention in the recipe how many servings it was. Um, so I just put in my recipe builder about 14 servings, and we'll see how much that measures out to. I'm imagining that may be about a third a cup, Maybe, but we'll see. It may be a half a cup. In her recipe, she said each serving is three-fourths cup. Um, so we'll see how much that is. If I get 14 servings out of it, it'll be three personal points on my WW program. So, two, two, two excited tasters to go in and give this light cravings one pot mac and cheese a try. Um, and what made it so exciting and interesting as well is that there are only a few ingredients that you'll be using and I happen to have all of them at the house. They're very common ingredients that most of you all, if you're doing WW on a fitness journey, a health journey, you probably have them in your home. So again, that made me excited to make the recipe as well. So let's, look, let's dig in and see what these few uh, ingredients are. So of course we're gonna need some elbow macaroni. It says 12 ounces or about three cups of that. It says we're gonna add this to our pot. Then we're gonna add in one and a half cups of water. And two cups of unsweet almond milk. And we're gonna bring this to a boil and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, it says. It says you want to leave some of the liquid in there so that adds to the moisture of the dish. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring this to a boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you wanna make sure that they're tender, the recipe says, the pasta is tender. Then once we bring that to a boil and cook the pasta, then we're gonna add in a few seasonings. It says to use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of salt. So I have that in my seasoning mixture here that I'm gonna put in once we cook it. And then after that, we're gonna add in, believe it or not, tasters, a teaspoon of yellow mustard. That's what the recipe says. And for the good part, six slices of Velveeta cheese and three ounces of the fat-free mozzarella cheese. She says use reduced fat mozzarella, but you all know I buy the fat-free mozzarella. And we're gonna season it to taste with pepper. So we're gonna let that boil and simmer and cook our pasta. Tasters, I realized uh, after looking back at the recipe that I was supposed to put my seasoning mixture which has the garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and salt in with the milk, water, and pasta. So I just started boiling and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. Pasta is done, tasters. And now I'm gonna add in my six slices of Velveeta cheese. And it did say that you are to remove it off of the heat and add in a little bit of milk if it's a little dry um, once you cook it. So it is a little dry, you want a little liquid. I didn't have as much liquid left as I'd like, so I'm gonna add in, she says a tablespoon at a time, more unsweetened almond milk. So I just added in about two extra tablespoons of the unsweetened almond milk as I add in the six slices of cheese Velveeta cheese and the three ounces of mozzarella cheese. 
gonna add in two more tablespoons of the unsweetened almond milk. You good tasters. Now I'm gonna add in the yellow mustard. It says pepper to taste. So I'm gonna just do a few sprinkles. Stir it in. I think we are ready, tasters. Let me get a dish to put it in so you all can see this creamy deliciousness. Tasters, we got some mac and cheese in 15 minutes or less. This looks delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Let's give it a taste. This mac and cheese tastes. This mac and cheese. This is delicious. Delicious. Yeah, they'll be the cheese. They really set it off, tasters. That really set it off. And so, for our tasty tip on today, um, as you all know, we have entered 2022. And I was just thinking, this is the year that I will hit my 20th um, anniversary of having lost 100 pounds. And I was just thinking, Vanessa, you know, what has kept you going over these 20 years? What has kept you going? And I, I know I give you all a tip each and every week, but just reflecting um, as I reach this milestone tasters, I really believe just, the, just renewing my mind each and every morning. Every morning I wake up and you know the day before, it may not have been the best or it may have been the best. Um, but each and every day, renewing my mind, saying, you know what, Vanessa, we're going to make it a great day today. We're going to work out. We're going to drink our water. We're going to do all the things we need to do to protect our progress. Protecting my progress. Do I get it right every day? No. But each and every day, renewing my mind, saying today is a new day. And I gotta still do those same things that I did yesterday. I think that is what has helped me over these 20 years. And I'm so excited um, to be on for you all to be sharing this journey with me over the last almost a year now. And that's our tasty tip for today. Renew your mind every day. Remember what your why is. Why are you on this journey each and every day? Have an amazing week, tasters. <laughs>